Hello everyone, I'm Nilefty586. I am currently working on a theory video that's going to be in direct correlation uh, to this video, so stay tuned for that. And among other things, I am no longer going to touch Dowd's theory uh, with a 10-foot pole because with the released footage, there's so much going on with Dowd. I don't even know where to begin. And there is so much chaos, <laughs> to quote Dowd here, but there's just so much chaos with that. Um, I think it's better left alone to sort itself out because behind the curtain, it's sorted out, it's linear, but in front, they're just throwing out bits and pieces. And what we can class from what they throw out is just so sporadic and insane that I have no idea how to even to begin approaching that. So there's a scene in the trailer and I'm just going to watch the trailer with you guys and I'm going to make notes for what I'm kind of talking about. Okay, so here we go, everyone. We're gonna watch the trailer. I'm going to pause it kind of sporadically and talk about what I mean by there's just so much chaos going on. I don't know where to begin. All right, so go in three, two, one. I knew you'd seek me out one day. I didn't think it would be like this. Dowd. The knife. Okay, so that one scene right there where Dowd is strapped to the chair and all that energy is wisping around him. That could be correlating, possibly, uh, to the mark. It could be correlating about how he's still marked, but might be in an abbey of the everyman, and they're trying to get rid of it. But it's just, I might be right, but uh, this could also be throwing my theory out the window. The Knife of Dunwall. <clears throat> <clears throat> I could never forget the man who pulled me up from nothing. So that part where Billy's lying down and Dowd uh, kind of picks up uh, Billy kind of lets me know that, um, I kind of feel like that's like, I don't know, like paying thank you, kind of like a father to a, a daughter thing. But for me, it, it kind of feels like see, he's saying goodbye, maybe. Don't quote me on that. Dowd taught me more than just killing. Evil. Okay, see, that's, that's, that right there. He's marked. He still has the power from it. He's blinking. He's marked. So that, again, may or may not correlate with what was just happening. So I don't know if this just threw my, uh, he's no longer linked to the void theory out the window or if this is before something happens and he loses power. See, it's just insane. You've always been good at uncovering secrets. I need your help. One last job. Who's the mark? The one responsible for it all. The cults, the black men. Okay, so I know this is gonna get a lot of controversy, but um, I really love Robin Lord Taylor as the outsider. I really don't mind the change from the first game to the second. A lot of people had issues with that, but I didn't mind. I mean, to me, it's it was kind of like a good change because the character itself changed a lot. I don't think if they kept the previous voice actor, it would fit his new demeanor character very well, so. Where's that? The black magic. We're gonna kill the outsider. Okay, so is that the outsider sitting on a bed? And this could also portray true. Let's see, and this right here, right here. That is very, very Billy. Um, that could be that could portray true to my that he might start appearing in a uh, real world time and because billy is using artifacts of the void also was was he on a bed oh my gosh he totally was what the oh my goodness you know 
he showed up on my bed, I definitely would not wave him off. Just throwing that out there. And also, you see Kaelic behind him? It's the map. It's the little. It's the map. And that looks like Circonus, so yeah, they are in Karnaka. So this definitely looks real time. A lot like how he appeared on the piano, how everything sort of froze around him as he brought the void in. So, and he appeared, he's sitting on the bed. Well, he appeared sitting on a piano, so this is not out of the crazy right here. This, this is very possible. Also, this could just be the shading, but his, his fingers look a little dusky there. Okay, so part of the reason why I am actually excited for Death of the Outsider is because of this guy. This guy, right here. And um, I really, really, really ecstatically hope that we get to know more about his past and I hope that he appears a hell of a lot. He's he's probably gonna be sitting there taunting Billy the whole time, it seems like, from this. So I really, really hope we get to see a lot of The Outsider, a lot. And I hope that he gives lots and lots of uh, exposition and etc. So let's, let's get going. Um, Wait, 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 wait. Mm-hmm. So that tells me that the cult kept it safe. Whoa, wait. I did not notice this before. Look. There's a bunch of corpses at his feet. And he's standing at the edge, kind of looking like uh, the battlefield. Which I kind of always envisioned, like, a circular uh, playing field for that. We're gonna kill the outsider. And again, I feel like he's going after the eye here. Whoa, wait, wait. As it zooms in... Oh no! Come on! No. You know what? I'll freeze frame it. Whoa! Wait, wait. Oh yeah, see? Hand on hip. I was right. 100%. So what the heck is going on with this? His cults, maybe? Maybe he's gathering his cults to try to fight for him and protect him, and he's giving him uh, guardians to help. I don't know. What's this? That looks like a person. Okay. That's gonna suck. No! Why'd you do, don't do that? That looks like a bald Stilton. Am I... Come on. That literally looks like Stilton. Same outfit, same everything. The only difference is that he's, he's bald, so... Is that intentional? You know I'm coming for you. Mm. 
no. Please refer to my Markiplier subtitle video about no, okay? No, we're not gonna kill the outsider, but I am planning a lot of end screens and game overs for Billy, so it's gonna be great. And with that being said, just as everything I mentioned, um, don't take anything I say as this has been New Life 2586, a uh, reaction talk about video for the uh, gameplay trailer. I might make more of these as they come out. Um, so I'm really, really ecstatic and excited for the game to come out. And I honestly, I, I cleared my schedule. I, <laughs> I booked out September 15th, like three months in advance. So this is what I'm going to be doing pretty much all September. Alright everyone, this has been New Life G586 with Lightking Studios. Signing out guys, bye!